Courtney with WinBeta, and this is the first video in a series on Microsoft's Android apps. Microsoft has been releasing Android apps for several years at this point, offering increased polish and utility with every update. Together, they offer a really compelling proposition. Go all in with Microsoft services and still keep your choice of platform. Today, we're looking at one of the newest and one of the oldest apps in Microsoft's catalog, Cortana and Bing. Cortana is a nearly mark-for-mark -mark recreation of the Windows Virtual Assistant on Android. From the familiar animations to the hamburger menu, nearly all features make the jump over from Windows. Driven by your notebook, Cortana responds to voice and text commands like you'd expect, including the ability to send text messages, place calls, and of course make witty remarks at your even wittier questions. Aside from a couple API-limited shortcomings like no access to hardware controls for radios and sensors, as well as no quiet hours options, the Cortana you know and love is all accounted for. Cortana can even respond to the Hey Cortana command from the home screen on most devices, and gains the ability to do it anytime the screen is on in Android 6.0. Microsoft has even gone as far as partnering with the group Cyanogen, allowing for access to the hardware controls and quiet hours features I was talking about before in the Cyanogen OS platform. Bing was one of the first Microsoft apps to hit the platform, being a Verizon exclusive when it launched back in 2010. The app has come a long way, offering some really cool features that even Google doesn't offer on the majority of current Android devices. The standout feature from the app is called Snapshots on Tap. Similar to Google's Now on Tap on Android 6.0 devices, it will analyze whatever you're looking at on your phone and make contextually appropriate search suggestions. In contrast to Now on Tap, though, the feature works on any device running Android 4.0 and up. It can be triggered by a long press or swipe up gesture on the home button, depending on the device, or by a floating button that persists at all times during use. Another cool feature of the app is the private mode that can be easily triggered in the settings. It's a small feature, but it's something the Google Search app has consistently lacked from its inception and it's a huge boon to Bing. The two apps act as a base for a lot of other Microsoft services, allowing you to take advantage of a number of innovative features on the quote-unquote rival platform. Say what you want about Bing Search, but if you have an Android device, I'd highly recommend reevaluating, especially if you're already invested in Microsoft's other services. Any thoughts, opinions, requests for new videos? This is just the first in a series of Microsoft's various Android apps, so let us know in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel because we post new videos all the time. And keep an eye on our website at wimbeta.org for more up-to-date Microsoft news and reviews.